Welcome back to my channel. This afternoon I'm on my back deck. I've got some chores to do outside. I spent the morning doing some chores inside. So now it's time to spend this beautiful afternoon and get some chores done on my back porch and my front porch. I've got some new rugs to put out. I've got some some plants to pot. So lots of chores to be done this afternoon. And oh my goodness, what a beautiful day God has given us. If it's not spring quite yet in your hometown, maybe you'll come along with me today and let me share some of my sunshine here today in Texas. If you happen to be new today, I'm Robin and welcome to my channel. Okay, I wanted to start off by just showing you guys some before looks of the back deck. If you missed my video, I think it was last Wednesday, I got out here, um, used the water hose and a broom, some Dawn dishwashing liquid, and um, washed off the deck, scrubbed it down really well, and then I put all my patio furniture back on and added like some ferns, a lot of greenery, some palm trees to the back deck. But at that time, I did not have my spring plants bought yet from my friend Charlotte's. So I also uh, did a video where I went to Charlotte's and did some shopping and picked up my spring plants to put on the back porch. And finally, today is the day that we get to get out in this beautiful sunshine and pot up a bunch of my plants that I bought and add some color to this back deck. So I'm very excited to do that. And this is actually my first day also to have shorts on since uh, spring has sprung here in Texas. So I was very happy. I do have a long sleeve shirt on because it was kind of chilly in the shade, but what a beautiful day that we have today a perfect day to get out on the back porch and kind of give it a little spring refresh so what you're going to see me here do is use my blower ladies if you're an outside person and have not invested in a blower yet oh my this is a battery operated one it came with two batteries so i always have one charged up and it is so so handy now it won't do like the deep stuff like when i deep cleaned my my porch a few weeks back i pretty much had to use a broom to get that pollen off there but once you kind of get your patio in order, it works so, so well. Okay, now here's a quick shot of all my spring plants that I mentioned that I bought at Charlotte's. If you happen to see my video uh, last Sunday, I believe you saw me shopping for all these beautiful plants. This is one of the areas that I really need to spruce it up for spring. It's in pretty bad shape. And then here's my second area that we really need to, that needs my attention really bad too. You see Z there enjoying the sun. Did y'all see that dog earlier, guys? Did I know y'all did not recognize him. He's a new dog in the neighborhood. He belongs to a new neighbor across the street. Uh, she's a lab. I haven't figured out what her name is yet, but I'm hoping to meet our new neighbor and see what her name is. But she hung out with us all day today. Here's another uh, project that I've got to get done. It won't be today, but I've got to get out here and pull all of these weeds out. It's easier to do that when the ground is wet. So hopefully I can get to that pretty soon. Derek has started on the pool. Look how clean he's got it, guys. Now, it, we had a thunderstorm uh, Friday, Thursday night, I believe. So there's lots of limbs in there and leaves I've got to get out. But the pool is almost ready. So excited for that. Now, the first thing I've got to do, um, I cannot stand it when that little flag gets all wound up. Um, I like it flowing in the air. It's so pretty. So I'm just going to take a broomstick real quickly and get this flag situated, get it untangled, and then we'll go and make some birds happy by filling up our bird feeders.
I've got two bird feeders here underneath this mimosa tree and I've got two more on the other side of the house but these are the only two that I'm going to fill up today. I should have bought some extra bird seed and did not get around to it so I only have enough for these two bird feeders today and this is just something I just love to do. Really I probably feed the squirrels more than I feed the birds because the birds and the squirrels spot over at Big Tom. I think there's some bird feeders out there that'll keep the squirrels from getting the feed but I do enjoy watching those squirrels try to get to those birds uh, food and they fight half the time but anyway so I'm just going to fill up these two bird feeders today it is such a joy to sit on this back deck and watch the hummingbirds watch the squirrels watch the birds eat off the bird feeders it's just a fabulous way to spend my mornings now during the week I don't really get out here on my porch in the morning times but I definitely do when spring hits around here every Saturday and Sunday morning I'm usually out here with my coffee watching the birds or watching some type of animal here in the backyard I certainly enjoy this country living Okay, now with that chore done, let's move back to the deck and let's get some plants taken care of. Um, we're going to replace first this mum that you see here in that smaller wicker basket. Y'all, that is a mum that I got back in the fall and I just left it in the pot that I bought it in. You can see it's kind of all tore up, but um, they will come back. I've said before, if you cut your mums back in the fall, you can plant them in a flower bed or leave them in the pot that you have them in. And if the frost doesn't get them, they will grow back. So that's what that was. I just took out of that basket. It's a mum that I got back in the fall. I can't wait for it to bloom. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. It looks so healthy and then I'm going to replace it with this absolutely stunning hydrangea that I got from Charlotte's uh, plant center that she has here in our little hometown and um, I'm hoping she gets some more in because I would really like to have some on the front porch and some in the flower beds if you're watching this video today and you're from my little area uh, in Texas, go by and check out David and Charlotte's trade days. I promise you, you will not be disappointed in the plants that she buys. Okay, now let's get our hands dirty or should I say let's get our gardening gloves dirty and let's start potting up some of these plants. Now y'all, I kind of treat my uh, plants outside kind of the way I do my vignettes inside my house. I kind of create vignettes inside my clay pots. I love big clay pots. Most of these that you see today were Derek's grandmother's from her home. And so when she passed away, I just brought them to my home and they are very old and I just love using them. And I'm showing you guys here my little shovel that I have. The dog's got a hold of it. I've got to buy some more gardening tools. But for today, we're going to work with what we have. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just take out some of the plants that were still surviving in this big pot. Not all of them. These are strings of pearls that I used last year, and they survived the winter. So I'm just going to take a few out. And then um, you've heard this saying when you go to pot up a, a big planter like that, that you need to use a... Let's see, how do they say it? You need to use a thriller, which is a really tall plant, um, a filler, something that kind of fills in your extra area, and then a spiller, something that as it grows, it'll kind of spill over to the side. So that's what I'm going to try to develop here today. I'm going to leave, like I said, some of that string of pearl in there to kind of be some of my filler. And wait till you see my pink geranium that I picked up from Charlotte's to be my thriller. Thank you. 
I really just love that pink geranium in that clay pot. I think it looks so good. I love the way this turned out. I bought some of the Dusty Miller, which I'll show you in a second the actual name of it. That is the little white plant you see there as my filler. And then I bought, I think it's called Purslane. I can't say that correctly, with the little flowers on it. And um, that is what I bought for my spiller because as that grows, it'll just kind of grow down that pot. And I'm not sure what you call this type of plant, but that purslane charlotte correct me i know i'm saying that wrong you can just clip that off and stick it in the ground and it'll root so that's really a cool plant to have so if you notice i did buy a big tray of that to have a whole bunch of it because that will really multiply purslane i think that's how you say that anyway i love that little plant um like i said it's very versatile you just clip it off and you can stick it in another flower bed or another pot it'll grow its own little plants so that's pretty cool Okay, so one pot down. Let's work on this next pot. And guys, I just had to show y'all what was going on behind me as I was working on my plants today. The dogs were definitely enjoying this really nice, cool weather. So again, all I'm going to do is clean out this soil, take some out, and make some room for some more plants. Okay, so now my second clay pot is ready. And guys, I've got to change gloves at this point because I had I mentioned that it had stormed a couple nights before. So this soil that was in these two clay pots were really wet. So these gloves by now are soaking wet. So I'm going to change gloves just real quickly because we're getting everything dirty and change into some new ones. But So these are the only two clay pots I have here. And then in just a second, you'll see me take a really pretty turquoise pot. that I've had this for a long, long time just to add some color um, here to that little area. And I'm just going to finish this plant by putting this putting some of that spiller I'm just gonna fill it up with that and put it down with the other clay pots just kind of create like a little vignette there um, on the side of the porch I really decorate my back deck and my front porch pretty much the way I do the inside of my home I pick out little areas to decorate create little vignettes little sitting areas and different spots and I try to have it kind of all color coordinated I love turquoise and blue here on the back deck so that's pretty much um, when it comes to decorating my back deck that I just have little areas that I decorate, I guess you could say. I'm just a firm believer that the outside of your home says a lot about the inside of your home. So I know during the winter, my outside areas are not that pretty to look at, but come spring or summer, you can be guaranteed that the outside of my home is going to be as pretty as I can make it. And I try to do it you know, very inexpensively. I try not to buy new pots every year. I have to buy new cushions sometimes every year because the dogs get a hold of our cushions that go on our furniture, but I do try to keep it pretty you know budget friendly back here because things are going to get um, rained on and 
storms are going to come through and things like that. So, Okay, so speaking of areas to decorate, here's another area that I like to keep cute over here in this little corner. I like to keep, I say keep cute, I like to keep it decorated. I thought I was going to use that little bench here, but it was just a little bit too big, so I ended up not using the bench there. You'll see that pretty much all this stuff is going to go away. I did just kind of have everything stacked up there to see what all I was going to use, but I do like when you kind of come into the back um, yard, turn that corner, and when you see the deck, I really like this little area right here to be really pretty because that's the first thing you see when you walk in the back, uh, backyard, so that's very important to me. So these are also two pots. Again, that big white pot is was Derek's grandmother, so it's very important to me. And um, so I always keep this. I think this is called a stargazer. You'll see it there that it's blooming. It's absolutely beautiful. Charlotte, again, correct me if I'm wrong, but that is a perennial, perennial I believe, and that means they come back every year. So it'll die off, I'll cut it back, and then it'll just bloom and it just grows so quickly. Um, a lot of my plants today are annuals and they will die off, but a perennial comes back every year. Hopefully if the frost doesn't get it. So all I'm going to do here is just again clean out this little pot some. I love having those little lights that you see there in my big pots. And at night time you can look out the back door and all the lights are, uh, all those little lights are in my plants are shining and they're so, so pretty. And guys, in these pots, there's really no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing in these pots. I'm just uh, trying to use up all the plants that I still have. I just kind of have to be careful of what plants I put here because these two pots do catch some of the rain water when it rains. So I have to be pretty careful. As you can see here, the soil is pretty wet still. And it's been, I think, two days since it's rained. So this airplane plant, or what I call an airplane plant, I'm not sure what the proper word for that is. But it's going to do well here because it likes to be wet. So again, no rhyme or reason to what I'm putting in this pot. I'm just putting what I have left over. And uh, guys, there's just something about working in the yard. To me getting your hands dirty planting flowers watching them grow i just absolutely love it it's so therapeutic to me okay so you saw the rug that was on by the back door i was saving this rug for this video because i was waiting to get this area kind of cleaned up of course remy's needing some sugars while i'm getting this rug down these dogs i don't know how i got anything done today because they were all three following me everywhere today but those rugs i think are absolutely gorgeous they just make this back deck i was so so happy with them when they came in and um, so okay so all we're gonna do here I think that a uh, big white plant is called a begonia yeah and it is absolutely beautiful and uh, when I go back to Charlotte's to get hopefully some more of the um, hydrangeas she'll have some more of those begonias because they are beautiful Okay, I'm going to add a few more lots to these plants to just kind of complete them. I just, again, love that look. So if you've never done that before, uh, I just get these from the Dollar Store. These might have came from Walmart because they're a little bit more sturdier than the ones from the Dollar General. But they last, they'll last me all spring and summer, and I just love them. They're like an LED light, so you know they get their sunshine when the sun's out, and then they'll 
they get their light in the daytime when the sun is out and then at night when all the lights are off it's just so pretty outside on the deck i've also put them on the front porch but i just highly recommend those guys if you haven't and got any yet maybe you've got some down your walkway but you've never thought to put them inside your plants just try them out i think it just adds such a nice touch to any porch And guys, I know I am showing a lot of the dogs today, but as I said earlier, they pretty much were by my side all day, all afternoon, I guess I could say. The whole time I was out here, one of them was by me. Um, they pretty much rested in the sun and just really enjoyed their afternoon with me. I really enjoyed having them around also. But Okay, now I'm just going to take the time to get some lights lit. Um, these citronella candles were from Target. Uh, I've got a couple of the tall uh, citronella candles candles that you'll see here in a second they go like it out in the yard uh, I could only get one to light today the other one was I guess I didn't have any oil in it but if you don't have any of those oil lanterns like the one you're about to see me light those are pretty cool too now this one was like a inferno when I lit it it, it was really huge so I, was, <laughs> I didn't let that it kind of burn it's got to kind of burn off for a little bit so look it gets really 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 big but eventually it dies down but if this was about 6 30 6 45 at night I was still home alone. The neighbors had their kids over. They were playing volleyball. I had music on and my TV here on the back deck. I had fixed me a big girl drink after I had done all this work. And I'll probably sit out here for like 45 minutes and just enjoyed all of my hard work. So I encourage you to get out onto your, even if it's just a little patio section, a little front porch, a little nook, and just add maybe a cute little chair, a comfortable chair, uh, some candles, and make this an extension of your home like I try to do my home. Our house is not that big but with this deck added on there we just thoroughly enjoy this deck uh, throughout the spring and throughout the summer so I sure hope I've encouraged you to do the same at your home. Thank you so much, friend, if you're still watching my video and you're still hanging in here with me. I greatly appreciate that. If you happen to be new, I'd love it if you leave me a comment in the comment section, maybe where you're from, your name. I have an Instagram account. If you want to follow me over on that platform, you can find me at Robin Lane Low. Thanks again, guys, for stopping by. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all, and I'll see you next week. Bye.